Reproduction is a normal process of life and there should be nothing weird about it. Let's talk about weird eggs. More specifically though, the amazing, and sometimes weird ways animals lay them. From animals first thought to be serial infant killers, to someone who can't decide whether to lay eggs or give birth to live young, this is how these 10 animals lay eggs. Number 10. Crocodiles. For decades, people thought that crocodiles actually ate their own babies. This belief stems from the fact that mama crocs use their mouths to transport their babies from the nest of the water. The ear-piercing cries baby crocodiles make didn't help either. However, since then, crocs have been proven to be very doting mothers. To their own kids, at least. A mother wouldn't say no to snapping up babies from another mother's nest, or uh, a little kid who gets, you know, particularly close. Depending on the species, a crocodilian may be a hole nester or a mound nester. This means that they either excavate a hole, usually in sand, and then bury their eggs, or they construct a mound, usually out of vegetation, and deposit their eggs in the center of it. An exception is one specific population of American crocodiles in Florida who can do it either way. No matter what the nest is, crocodilians seem to take building nests very seriously. So much so that before a female is ready to lay her eggs, she will build a few trial nests in preparation for the real thing. These nests aren't used but are abandoned in favor of the final one. Number 9. The Australian Spider Wasp. How this terrifyingly named wasp reproduces is absolutely gruesome, but at the same time, disturbingly familiar. You see, this insect got its name from hunting and killing huntsman spiders, but not to become tonight's dinner, oh no, but rather to become a nest, incubator, and a first meal for its baby. The egg-laying ritual will always start out with a hunt, with the mother wasp flying out to look for a live huntsman spider. A deadly battle will then ensue, often with the wasp being the victor. The wasp then stings and paralyzes the spider before dragging it into its mud nest. Inside the nest, the wasp will lay a single egg inside the still-living spider's abdomen. The effect of the sting will eventually wear off, leaving the spider to go about its way seemingly unharmed. That is, until when the wasp's eggs hatch. When they do hatch, the wasp larva will eat the spider from the inside out. And guess what? It's not a fast, painless death either, as the larva wants the spider to live a bit longer to keep it as fresh as possible, so the tiny killer will eat the vital organs for last. If the process sounds familiar, then you probably guess at this point that it's a xenomorph reproduction cycle as well, which is honestly just as horrifying. Number 8. Cichlids. When it comes to reproduction, it usually takes two to tango, even in the animal kingdom, but with a few notable exceptions. Finding dads involved in raising their young among animals is pretty rare. In the case of cichlids, which are a type of fish, daddies may even happily gobble up their young as soon as they're hatched. This has led to the cichlid's mother to come up with an ingenious way of protecting their eggs and hatchlings, and that's by turning their mouths into a makeshift incubator and nursery. She first lays unfertilized eggs in her nest, waiting for a male to swoop in and fertilize them. As soon as they are fertilized, she will then scoop them up into her mouth, keeping them there until they hatch. It can take up to two weeks for the up to 30 eggs to actually hatch, but even after that she will continue to keep the hatchlings in her mouth for up to two more weeks, just occasionally letting them out to feed them. The mother, meanwhile, doesn't eat at all during all that time. This is definitely mother's love taking up a notch. Number 7. The Cuckoo Catfish While cichlids are very protective mothers, the Cuckoo Catfish is the exact opposite. Its motherly instincts are limited to laying her eggs, and that's actually really about it. They actually leave the job of rearing their own young to other fish, and in the case of cuckoo catfishes living in East Africa's Lake Tanganyika, they target cichlids to be their surrogates. It waits until a cichlid lays her eggs, then instantly swoops in to lay her own eggs in the same spot. This creates confusion, prompting the cichlid to gather her eggs into her mouth as quickly as she could, but as she does, she also unknowingly picks up the catfish eggs. As nature would have it, catfish eggs hatch faster than cichlids, so as soon as the tiny cichlids hatch inside their mom's mouth, they are greeted by bigger and hungrier catfish hatchlings that make easy meals of them. Just a few catfish hatchlings can easily wipe out the tiny cichlids, and as soon as they run out of them, they start eating each other. This leaves the poor cichlid mother utterly confused as she barfs out catfish instead of her own babies, wondering if there was a mix-up at the nursery. Number 6. The Seahorse as stated before, there aren't a lot of very involved dads in the animal kingdom, but there are a few exceptions, most notably the humble seahorse. Male seahorses don't only produce the sperm needed for fertilization, they are actually the ones who get pregnant. The female transfers her eggs to the male's abdominal pouch, made of modified skin. The male releases sperm to fertilize the eggs as they enter, before incubating them for 24 days until they're born. 
The male's abdominal pouch is a wonder of nature that performs a whole lot of tasks aside from keeping the baby safe. The pouch actually provides the baby seahorses with everything that they need to develop, including a supply of energy-rich fats and calcium that allow the embryos to build their tiny skeletons and bony body rings that sit just under their skin. The pouch can even remove the waste that the embryos produce, such as carbon dioxide and nitrogen, keeping conditions inside the pouch ideal for a growing seahorse. Number 5. Gastric Brooding Frogs the gastric brooding frog is famous for two things. One is that the species was literally brought back from extinction, and two, they barf out babies from their mouths. It should already be painfully obvious from their name, but gastric brooding frogs hatch their eggs from inside their stomachs. This unique and somewhat disgusting species of frog is native to Queensland and Eastern Australia. The female swallows her fertilized eggs and incubates them in her stomach for roughly six weeks. Don't worry though, she doesn't digest them. Chemicals released by the eggs tells her stomach to stop producing acid and she stops eating. Around 20 to 25 tadpoles hatch inside her and the mucus from their gills continue to keep the acid at bay. Over the next six weeks, as the hatchlings grow and her stomach bloats, mom's lungs collapse and she is forced to breathe through her skin. She then vomits out her fully formed frog babies. Mm, the circle of life. The species actually did go extinct back over in 1983, but researchers in Australia were able to bring it back from the dead. That one is a story for another video, but let us know in the comments if you want to find out more about that. Number 4. Sea Turtles Sea turtles are extremely rare marine reptiles. They can live for more than 100 years, which unfortunately also means that they reach sexual maturity longer. This means that they can't reproduce quickly enough for their numbers to increase to a more comfortable level. Depending on the species, they may start laying eggs as early as the age of 7 or as late at the age of 40. Pregnant females will lay their eggs on sandy beaches. How they pick and choose which beach to give birth on is unknown, but they have been known to come back to the same beach every time to lay eggs. That is, unless they are disturbed while laying the eggs, at which point they'll abandon the nest, never to come back. When they do find the perfect spot, though, they will dig holes called body pits using their front flippers. These holes could be as deep as 3 feet, and when they are done digging, they lay somewhere between 50 to 200 eggs, again, depending on the species. They then cover up the hole with sand and go back to the sea, leaving their babies to hatch and find the ocean all by themselves. Some of these babies will come back in a few decades to the same spot where they were born to lay their own eggs. Number 3. The Emperor Penguin All birds need nests to lay their eggs on and raise their young in, right? Well, not quite. Sometimes all they need is a pair of warm, steady legs, such as the case of the Emperor Penguin. Penguins call their nesting sites rookeries, and they return to the same spot to lay their eggs every single year. Emperor penguins form colonies around the shoreline of the Antarctic continent and adjacent islands. They prefer sites on a fairly level surface of ice in areas sheltered from wind with easy access to feeding areas. Females will deposit a single egg onto the waiting feet of a male, and then they set off immediately and head for the sea, leaving the male to incubate all by himself. They can't even feed themselves while taking care of the egg. It takes 65 to 75 days for the eggs to hatch. By the time the chicks actually do appear, their fathers have fasted for four months. The males rely entirely on the body fat that they laid down during summer to survive the long winter fast. Now that's one dedicated father if I ever saw one. Number 2. The Suriname Toad The Suriname Sea Toad is one of the strangest animals you will ever see in your life. You see, unlike other toads, it looks like a car has run over it, and it gives birth out of its back. The female toad's offspring develop from eggs to frogs underneath under her skin, and for people of a certain disposition, the sight of this toad giving birth is enough to make them vomit. So of course I definitely need to show it to you guys. The female Suriname toad can carry up to 100 eggs in her back, forming an irregular honeycomb design. The male toad produces a sharp clicking noise by snapping the hyoid bone in his throat, which attracts a nearby partner. The female rises from the seafloor, at which time the male mounts her back. They do a bit of an awkward mating dance, mostly involving the pair flipping through the water. This also has the female releasing eggs with each flip and the male fertilizing them before he helps embed the eggs in her skin. Once the eggs are implanted, a film forms over them, creating protective pockets. Four months later, the fully grown frogs punch their way through the skin to freedom. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Yellow-Bellied Three-Toed Skink 
I put this animal on number one for a reason. That is, it can't seem to decide on whether to lay eggs or give birth to live young. This is because back over in 2019, in a world first, researchers at the University of Sydney have observed this normally live-bearing Australian lizard lay three eggs and then weeks later give birth to a live baby from the same pregnancy. This is the first time such an event has been documented in a single litter of vertebrate babies. The three-toed skink is native to the east coast of Australia. In the northern highlands of New South Wales, the animals normally give birth to live young, but those living in and around Sydney lay eggs. Many vertebrates were already egg layers in the past, but over thousands of years, developing embryos in some species were held inside the body for longer, until some animals began to give live birth. However, no one knows why these bimodally reproductive reptiles reproduce in such drastically different ways, even within the same species. Tell me, my fair viewers, do you know of any other animals that lay eggs in a strange, strange way? Well, let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.